One of the things about running a big trap line is managing your time correctly. And one of those things is that daily fire. You have to have a fire in the morning, you have to have it in the evening, you have to have it in the main cabin, in the skinning shack, all that. Starting a lot of fires. So a couple things we do do for that. And one of them is to make sure that our wood is all down to a nice size where it, it lights pretty easy. We don't have to have additional kindling. Uh, in addition to that, though, we use we, we, we make our own fire starters. Sandy likes to call these eggies just simply because they are made from egg cartons. These are two and a half dozen egg cartons. And then I've just filled them with uh, sawdust. I like to mix uh, wood chips from uh, my, my joint or planer and uh, sawdust like from my, my sawmill and mix it together. The uh, wood chips give it... Um, rough edges that stick out a little bit so the match catches, uh, the fire catches easy on it. And the uh, sawdust is a, has a great ability of filling in and soaking up more, more wax. What I've got here, this is bulk wax. Okay, what it is, is it's from a candle maker. And the candle maker, they make up candles per order. Sometimes they, they, they end up with, with excess wax and it is uh, a color or a scent or a composition that they can't use again. So then they'll just take and pour it into great big dishes and sell it off at, at a great price. I'm talking about uh, usually 10 cents on the dollar. I got 120 pounds not very long ago and this is what we use it for, right here. So, I have my wax on the, on the stove, my coal stove here. I got the wax nice and melted on the on my coal stove and then the whole thing is is just to pour it on this and make sure that you're getting enough in everywhere this uh, you could do with a much better uh, pouring bucket than what I've got here I need to get fancy and get something with a like a teapot a metal teapot but every year when I go to do this this is what's here so this is what I do that's why you notice I have the cardboard here <laughs> And so I can pick all of it up and uh, melt it back down and do it all over again. You need to make sure that you get enough wax in everything. There is, um, you know, we're, we're all kind of cheap and, and we all try and make everything go a, lo a great distance. So we have a tendency not to put enough wax in. And if you don't have enough wax in when these cool down, then you can't cut them apart and they, they just they just take and crumble. You want these to have enough wax in them so they're nice and solid, and they start easily with a match. Throw one of the eggies in, a couple blocks of wood, throw a match in it, go out, start the generator, put the coffee on, the fire is going, life is good. It all happens really quickly, and that's what, that's what we need is to manage that time. We don't have a lot of time for sitting around, not when you're running a, a big trap line. Okay, when these cool off, I will uh, show you what they look like. Once things are cooled off, they're really easy to take apart just using a knife. You know that you've got good penetration. You see this? See how the, this has changed color? That's good. Uh, the uh, cardboard itself, the cardboard egg carton is, is soaked in wax. Also, when you cut them apart, if you do this just before they get absolutely hard, it's a little easier cutting, but you notice how the wax has penetrated all the way through the eggies here. That's what we call them, eggies. Right through, right through the sawdust and everything. That means that it's going to start good and going to burn long. You can do anything you want for fire starting. This is just something we have done since I was a little kid. And uh, I kind of admit, this wax, last wax we got must have been, come, been surplus from a, a scented candle uh, order because it smells kind of lavendery and and chamomile and pretty pleasant in the, in the old uh, skinning shed today. <laughs>